Isabel and I spent a week building out our Subaru Outback. We talked about hiking through Washington, driving along the coast of Oregon, to camp beneath the stars in Montana. Each stop brought new experiences and instilled new memories. This trip was an adventure of a lifetime. And we were so happy to share it all with you. This is Yosemite National Park. So we are just packing up here in San Francisco and heading to Yosemite for the next three days. We're unsure what our plan will be in Yosemite as we've applied for the lottery for the cables up Half Dome. If we get it, then our main objective in Yosemite will be that. If we don't, then this video will be all about exploring Yosemite, um, doing different hikes, and going to different viewpoints to get a good experience of the park. So we've booked campsites in the park. We found some availabilities. It seems like mid to late September is a good time to go because the weather is still pretty nice and there's not a lot of people going because school's back in so a lot of families are back to work and bringing their kids to school so we were able to get a site at camp four and another site at the north pines campground right in the park so we're pretty excited about that hopefully we can get the cables and do that hike because we've been hoping to do that for a while now but if not it'll still be great to be in yosemite and to explore the park So we got into Yosemite late last night around 9.30-10. We booked a campsite at the North Pines campground. We actually got the last site. And so because we were driving from San Francisco and it was just like a four and a half hour drive, we wanted to get in, not have to worry about looking for a place to stay and just be able to go right to sleep. We did not end up getting the cables lottery. So instead we're gonna spend the next two days exploring the best parts of Yosemite, showing you guys some of our favorite hikes and uh, iconic viewpoints and amazing places for photography, for unique perspectives of Yosemite, of El Cap and Half Dome. So we are just packing up this morning and we're gonna go off to Yosemite Falls, um, do a quick hike up there and check out how the waterfall is doing. Since it is fall, uh, a lot of the water will start to dry up. I believe Yosemite Falls will be going all year round. So yeah, it's great to be here. Beautiful place. I absolutely love coming to Yosemite. Hoping to have a full day today and a full day tomorrow and really get a good sense of the park over the next two days. I'm ready to go. We're going to Yosemite Falls and then we're gonna have some lunch at Glacier Point. So Yosemite Falls is definitely a spot you want to see. It's so easy to get to. Nice breezy walk. There are lots of people here. Um, however, if you did want to get to a more quiet area, you can just scramble all the way up to the falls pretty easily. And there's less people up there and you get the best view of the falls as well. So we just drove up to Glacier Point area. Uh, it's super busy up here and it's kind of a hassle driving all the way around up here. So if you want to do some stuff up here, get here, get here early. We just had a quick lunch, had some views of Half Dome in the background, which was nice. And now we're gonna try to quickly run to Taft Point and Sentinel Dome. All the parking down at Glacier Point was full, so we couldn't park down there. We can't do the proper eight mile trail where you go up to Sentinel and then you come back down a bit and go over to Taft. So so we're starting up here on um, a pullout and it's right at the start of the Taft Point Trail and we're gonna hope to go along the ridge to Sentinel Dome and then work our way back to Taft Point and then quickly drive down a tunnel view for sunset. So, so we're hoping to get out, stretch our legs and enjoy the side of the park before heading back down to camp.
the hike to Sentinel Dome from the road where we started is really easy. It's only a mile and the views are magnificent. You have 360 views of the valley and of all the iconic spots of Yosemite. So right now I'm looking out at El Cap and then just behind me is Half Dome and you can see it all. So highly recommend this hike. I think this would be great for sunrise if you want to do it for sunrise and get up early because the whole dawn wall will just light up and it's just a gorgeous spot up here. We got lucky with the weather, it's perfect. So we're gonna enjoy a bit more and then head on to Taft Point um, for golden hour and then truck our way on to Tunnel View for sunset. point now it was an easy mile hike and it was definitely worth it it's um it's gotta be one of the best vantage points you can have of el cap and of the valley you can stand all the way on the edge definitely get vertigo it's beautiful up here and it's so easy to get to it's a really wonderful trail we're really glad we did both sentinel dome and half point and now we're gonna head to tunnel view for sunset <laughs> hi everyone half point is great Great view of El Capitan, easy hike up. It's great fun, like walking as close to the edge as you possibly can. And yeah, it's just really fun. We are packing up now. We got up for sunrise this morning to see the Alpen Glow on El Cap. We went down to the Merced River and just found a spot. We're gonna go do a few more hikes this morning. One, we wanna go into the meadows, which is a really good place to go to kind of get a good feel for the valley floor. And then we want to hike to the nose of El Cap. And that will be the end of our time in Yosemite and we'll head down to Sequoia for our next trip. On the trail to the nose of El Cap. Uh, just a little short walk. You can already see quite a few climbers going up. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool getting to the bottom of El Cap and looking up. I'm quite excited for that. So this is day two and we just wrapped up 
hiking through the meadows, going to the bottom of El Cap and touching the nose, which was really cool, and seeing all the climbers, and uh, just kind of having a nice lazy day here in Yosemite after a lot of running around yesterday to see some of the viewpoints and catch sunset. So we are heading out now. Hope you enjoyed this video of what it's like to explore Yosemite in two days. We now have a four hour drive to Sequoia, um, and that wraps up Yosemite. Thanks for watching.